guys welcome back to my face welcome back to this channel if this is your first time bumping into this channel please do not make it to last subscribe like share watch other videos and i'm sure you're definitely going to enjoy it welcome to the family welcome to my group of besties and all of that so today as the title says i'm finally bringing you guys my morning routine so we're going to do the shower routine and skincare routine all together so basically what i do when i wake up in the morning i get to my shower do my skincare and all that jazz first of all disclaimer i do not like spending time in the shower so i don't know how i'm going to do this <laughs> give me five minutes i'm in and out of the shower but i'll try as much as possible to make it a bit longer for you guys and not just give you guys because i really am that kind of person i don't have I, I don't have the patience for it i really do not but yeah i'll show you guys the products i use very basic very straightforward i don't do any extra serere very basic very straightforward and i'll show you guys my skincare when i'm done with all of that i'm in my pjs i'm tying my scarf this is how you usually find me when i wake up in the morning my pjs are my nightwear a bonnet or a scarf this is what i look like when i wake up in the morning I really do not come out to shower immediately. I am one of those people that would lazy about unless I have something to do. If I have nothing to do, best believe I'll be in bed, pressing my phone, chilling, doing all of that. But eventually I'll enter the shower. <laughs> but today I decided to just make it different. Wake up. I woke up about like 30 minutes ago. So just wake up and actually show you guys exactly what it feels like when I wake up and I take my shower and I get ready for the day because I have where I'm going to today. So yeah, this is a, a what they call it, a, a realistic here yeah, this is a realistic morning shower and skincare routine let's just get right into the video because i don't want this video to be too long let's go let's go Wow. So guys, I'm done with my shower section of this video and when I'm done, I usually just air dry sometimes. When I'm in a rush, I use my towel, but I do not use my towel on my face. My face, I usually let it air dry so it's a bit wet. So while it's wet like this, I just go ahead and start with my lotion, my deodorant and all of that. By the time I'm done, I can now start with my toner and my face. So I do my body first. So this is the lotion I use and this is Jeggins. I have used this lotion for about eight years now ever since i moved back to nigeria this is the lotion i've been using and nothing has happened to me <laughs> it's just been hydrating it's very hydrating for my skin i have dried skin so i tend to just use products that are very hydrating to my skin and this is the brand i have been using i switch between the soothing aloe this is the soothing aloe i switch between this and the original scent but this is the one i use more often because i like the smell of this one the original scent doesn't have like any kind of fragrance or anything so if i just want that extra you know smell good feel <laughs> i go for this one so this is what i'm using now for my lotion so i'll just apply that all over my body i really tried to film this in such a way that you know i'll place it while i apply my lotion but <laughs> this video is one of the funniest videos i've filmed <laughs> and the most technical videos i've filmed like it just makes me laugh i can't even take myself seriously like people that film these videos like all this shower and all of that people are trying you know, without being nude on the camera Ugh. it's not easy so we're done with that and the next thing i use is my deodorant and i use this nivea one i use nivea and i use dove as well but for now 
I'm using Nivea and I actually prefer the Nivea one. The Dove one doesn't last 48 hours, they're lying lines but this one i noticed that when i use this even the next day i still like smell fresh doesn't smell bad but with the dog one i feel like the next morning if you don't shower immediately if you don't shower immediately you're gonna start oozing <laughs> but this is definitely way better this is the nivea one and this is the pearl and beauty quick dry the pink and blue one just in case you're wondering which one it is and i just use this i am not one of those people that react to deodorant my armpit is not black I don't have bumps on my armpits like so I don't react so I've been using deodorants since secondary school well in secondary school I was saying Roll-On but I realized that Roll-On doesn't last like I need something that will dry up my armpit because I sweat a lot so this makes the difference so I don't use Roll-On I use this one so we'll just go ahead why do we shake it <laughs> why do am I the new one I think everyone will shake it right you have to shake it first before you use it I don't know it's just the Nigerian in me I guess and I'll just spray that Next thing, which is my favorite thing to do, you guys know I love fragrances like Body Mist. This is another thing I feel like I started doing since secondary school and is now a part of me. I just cannot shower. I simply cannot shower without using my Body Mist. Like, I am addicted to Body Mist. I used to get from Victoria's Secrets, but I found out about Bath and Body Works like only God knows how many years ago and I stuck to them. Like, I buy everything from Bath and Body Works and I usually do two in rotation <laughs> so I, I buy them in bulk you know how they sell it now they'll be like three buy three for four buy so i pack i pack them when i travel so for now i just brought out two that i'm using in rotation this one is called champagne toast i love this so much and you guys really know about japanese cherry blossom like if you don't know now you know this smells heavenly as well but today i'm going to be using champagne toast so i'm not doing this thing well <laughs> on a normal day i am nude and i'm spraying this literally all over my body but i'm in a robe today so I'm not doing the way I want to do it, but basically, I am very generous with this because I feel like this this kind of helps your perfume even last longer. The next thing I do is that I use my cocoa oil. I got this one from Arame. I have been using this one from Arame for a long while as well. As you can see, it's finishing. So I use this for my feet. I know you guys saw earlier that I use like a black stone for my feet because I have really strong feet. It's hereditary. It really is. <laughs> I have really strong feet and I don't know who passed it down to me but it is so annoying. No matter how much I get my pedicure done, it is just always hard. So I try my best to incorporate these little things to my routine. So I apply this under my feet to just help it get soft. Because if I leave it, if I use that key cube, it's over. <laughs> it is over. So this is the one I'm using. And that's about that. But I obviously use this on my body as well. But the weather is hot. So I see no reason why I'm using my lotion and my oil. My lotion is so hydrating that it does the job for me. But on days where I feel like the weather is very dry or I need that extra glow, I use this. And I have another glow oil as well that I'm going to show you guys from Irony as well. I use that on my body. I have some, I have a few oils actually, not just this one. But for today, I'm going to be using this under my feet. So now we're done with everything body. When I'm going to move to the face and like you, I see what I told you guys like if I don't dry my face with anything by the time I'm done with my lotion and all of this my face must have dried to an extent where I could have start my skincare routine like my face my face care routine so I've washed my hands already because I already applied oil lotion all of that so I just wash out all the residue for my palms if I start with my face so I don't carry the same products and put on my face as well so I've done that already let me just dry this off <laughs> with the towel behind us so the first thing I use is my toner and I have been loving this toner. This is new to my skincare collection. I'll show you another product that is new to my skincare collection. But I have two new products and I have been using them. I have been loving them. This one is from Good Molecules and it's their Niacinamide Brightening Toner. And for some reason, I find myself using this with a cotton pad. You guys know I don't really use cotton pads with my toners. But this one, they root it there in the direction. And I am one of those who that read the direction because I feel like they know better. They're the ones that made the product and they said yeah use a cotton pad so i use a cotton pad and i feel like it actually gets the job done more than when i put it in my palms but i have other toners that i feel like makes more sense using my palms to apply it so yeah i'm just going to apply that with my cotton pad i love this, this is like a brightening toner so it gives your face that vibrancy that you need so you don't look dull and i'll just apply this to my face Bring back the moisture and please don't forget your neck around the back of your ear to your neck down here. Okay. 
So another product I have added to my um, skincare collection and I'm loving so much is this essence. And for God who made me, I do not know how to pronounce the name, but I'll just put like an up close and you guys will see what it looks like and you'll see the name. Cosrex, Cos, and this is the Advanced Snail 96 Mosin, or Mochin, Mosin Power Essence C. I'll put it up close then you guys will know what it is because I really don't want to put your name which I've already done but yeah this essence just helps with hydration this makes your skin feel so plump and just healthy and scrumptious <laughs> that's the only way I can describe it I've gotten reviews from Hosein that it broke them out but it hasn't broken me out and I've used it for at least two weeks now and I've used it every day and it's been so good to my skin so I'm going to just use that and it really has that snail that slimy effect i don't even know if you guys will see it in this video but it does this <laughs> yama yama thing so i'll just apply that to my face and down to my neck in my last skincare video someone told me why don't you apply your products on your ear and i'm like that's true why don't i apply my products on my ear so i found i formed this habit of applying it on my ears as well so i mean it's part of your face you won't want this place to be all glowy and here will just be ashy <laughs> So yeah, thank you. I saw your comment and I have definitely incorporated that to my life. So down to your neck. And it just gives you just gives you the best glow. I don't know if you guys have seen my skin, but I feel like it gives you the best glow. And another thing, on a normal day, I use my vitamin C serum, but ever since I got that toner that I just showed you guys earlier, it has nice cinnamon and it has this brightening effect. I feel like using that and using my vitamin C serum. Is just doing so much so what i do the days where i use this toner i don't use my vitamin c serum and the days where i use like my normal hydrating toners i use my vitamin c serum so it's not too much of vitamin c vitamin c brightening brightening you understand so yeah so i'm not going to use my vitamin c serum today i'm just going to continue with the hydrating hydrating path basically so let's go to my serum guys i'm going to be using this hyaluric acid serum from inky list you guys already know about this i've talked about it few times on my page and this just does nothing but hydrate your skin like that's all hydration 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 <laughs> so I'm going to be using that my morning skincare routine is very straightforward I'm sure you guys have noticed from my video I'm going to link my my first video below it's very straightforward I don't do I don't do too much in the morning in the night time yes I do a lot because I feel like that's when I go to bed and I feel like my products are going to work more but with this I'm going out I'm going to go under the sun so I really don't do too much in the morning I just make sure I am hydrated and ready to go when the night I use my masks I use everything you can possibly think of <laughs> in the night down I apply all of that and see how my skin is so far are you guys seeing the glow are we seeing the glow <laughs> you guys already know our fave moisturizer <laughs> now and this is the only Herrickson truth c-rush brightening moisturizer and like i said you see if i had used my vitamin c used my toner that was brightening and i'll not go and use this one i just feel like it's doing too much so i tried to reduce my hand on the brightening 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 so i will not go and be <laughs> bright <laughs> Remember all your products, any residue, anything remaining, just apply it to the back of your arms, to the back of your palms, because this is the first sign of aging. <laughs> this is how you know when someone is aging. The person might be all looking young with Botox and everything on their face, but your palms will never lie. <laughs> so I feel like just apply your products on your palms. Don't be scared. Don't wash them out. Use them. And obviously, last but not the least, our SPF. We cannot leave the house without our SPF. And to be honest, sometimes even when I'm at home, I use my SPF as well. So we're doing the SPF next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like I, I feel like I should never say the SPF anymore. You guys know it now. Like, please sponsor me. Use me. Super group. I'm here for you. Use me. Anyways, I'm using my super group play everyday lotion. That is what I'm going to use as my SPF. As always, you guys know how much I swear by this product, and I'm going to be using this amount. Love 
love this SPF just in case you're new on my channel I've not talked about this SPF before I love it so much because you don't have any white cast when you're done it's very hydrating it's very moisturizing it doesn't just feel like SPF you know most SPFs feel like SPF feels like you're rubbing something on your skin that is not moisturizing I don't know how to explain it it has I've used other SPFs and I feel I, <laughs> I've used other SPFs and I felt that but with this one it feels like I'm actually applying like a moisturizer it's very hydrating and it's very good to my skin and like I said no white cast and it gives you that healthy glow when you're done you're not looking like cops <laughs> like they're about to bury you I don't like that with other with most SPFs I've tried but if I have other ones that you feel like I should try please let me know this is just the one that I feel like I like so far I've not tried all the SPFs in the world I'm sure there are other ones out there that are way better than this one let me know in the comment section and I'll try them out because I like trying stuff actually So yeah, we're done with our skincare and our shower care. I really hope I was able to show as much as possible without showing so much because this video was very tricky. Guys, you don't, you don't know how filming the shower scene was for me. <laughs> I kept on laughing. I was like, what the hell are you doing? That's time I placed the video. <laughs> That's time I placed my camera to film like the, my back scene. And when I walked into the camera <laughs> and I came out to check like the clip by someone, I was like, ah! It was the funniest thing to film but i just really wanted to show you guys the products i used and make it as realistic as possible without showing too much and yeah we're done with the video <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next as usual thank you bye